A solo adventure can sometimes be one of the most rewarding. Taking the tiller, following the winds, and living off the sea in a beautiful location can help get perspective of everything. But you don't need a super yacht to do it. On the contrary, the simpler, the better. So join us as we show you one of the most versatile boats for a solo adventurer, the thrilling Corsair 760. Hi, I'm Brent Vaughan and welcome to Sabbaticals, where we bring you detailed boat demonstrations, strategies to accelerate ownership and key skills to help you go cruising sooner. Subscribe to start doing rather than dreaming. There is a secret guilty pleasure of towing your boat by car and eliminating days of moving a boat by sea with just hours of driving instead. But that's the convenience a trailable boat can bring like a Corsair. It allows you to leapfrog your adventure right into the heart of where you want to explore. Designed to fit behind a regular car, the Corsair 760 combines trailability with its fold-away floats and goes together with just a few steps. The great thing about a performance trimaran like the Corsair 760 is that you can hot it up and induce apparent wind sail to allow you to go as fast or even faster than the speed of the wind, allowing you to cover great distances fast. Or you can just relax the main sheet and drop the traveller and you have a stable platform that doesn't round up or lean over and rock around. The new modern pontoon design has a huge amount of buoyancy forward so you can push the boat pretty hard without bearing the bows. It's simply thrilling to sail, achieving about wind speed in most conditions, and is light on the helm with balanced tiller steering. All right, so on the Corsair 760, you've got all the controls here at the cockpit. You've got your jib sheet, you've got your main sheet, traveler control, and even your spinnaker sheet. Off the breeze, this boat really flies, touching about 11 knots, but equally sailing to windward is extremely efficient sitting on about eight knots, hard on the wind, in about 10 knots of breeze. For these reasons, the Corsair is equally a popular racing class, with two or three crew on board in racing fleets around the world. In fact, there is a regatta version available with a large cockpit and small internal space. The boat has a small outboard that you can simply lift out of the water when not in use. Given it's much faster to sail than motor on these boats, it's really there to move off the boat ram or when anchoring. The Corsair 760 becomes super versatile when you get into shallow waters with a retractable daggerboard and rudder, taking your draft from 1.6 metres just down to 0.3 of a metre, or one foot. This means you can get right up against the shore, or even beach the boat with the pontoons keeping you from leaning over. There are also some large watertight storage lockers in the pontoons to store things like inflatable kayaks, spinnaker sails, or other items like kite boards and kites. The trampolines provide excellent space to store toys, laze around, pack sails, or even sleep on a hot night in a swag. The swim ladder is mounted to the transom and can be easily put into position when you're ready for a dip. Accommodation on board is compact, simple, but big enough for one or two people to get a good night's sleep and have all the essential equipment to live. 760 has a camping galley with an alcohol stove and a sink with fresh water supply. There's space under the cockpit for an electric fridge and a slide storage space for supplies or just some cold drinks. 
plus a dedicated space for a portable toilet.